Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to No Man's Sky with me, Adam, your Brit, in the VR headset. And just look at this view. We have actually had some good news and some bad news. If you are new to the channel, for starters, or you're new to this series, we are right at the beginning. However, if you cast your eye up there, that's my base. Because I actually recorded an episode for an hour and a half and then found out afterwards that I hadn't recorded any audio. Oh no, we're going to be shot down. So, I've returned to where the episode ended, as far as you all know, and I'm just going to show you what's been going down. For starters, we will be investigating that ring, because it's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> tee -hee. We're also going to pop in here, because I'm going to show you that I've actually changed race as well. I'm now a Gek, which means I'm tiny. And then we're going to go check out the base. It's not all bad, though, because it does mean that we've been able to skip a good chunk of the tutorial, which nobody wants to see. None of you want to actually sit and watch me go through loads and loads of the tutorial, but it would be nice, wouldn't it, to just get things going. Ta-da! Here we are at a beautiful space station. They are amazing. I did walk all the way down there. You can basically go to the doorway, but basically the second the second nodule is where you can walk to and then there's a force field, but it is a beautiful view. Maybe another time I will do it again, but I kind of feel determined to show you everything that I discovered and get it out of the way. For starters, this is me! Look at that, am I not adorable? Are you not amused? <laughs> I think it's amazing. I try to make myself look as much like an owl and a ninja turtle. It started off as a ninja turtle, but it turned into an owl because I've got a beak and I moved my eyes to the side of my head. And they're orange. The orange and black would be a good theme for us. Admittedly, I thought you were all there at the time, so I thought it was a sort of semi-group decision, but obviously not because I didn't get to record it because I'm an idiot. But this is the new me, which is why we're really short now. So if I walk up to somebody you can find out because uh, obviously if you start the game normally you're sort of generic height so you're the same height as everybody else in the game obviously so if i go find a person here we go oh there's a gex see i'm the same height as these guys sup bro but i'm tiny compared to everybody else oh he's got like a hologram of a a living potato <laughs> i want to know about your living potato the electronic life form's bright greeting suddenly slows. They tap into their personal data pad while their facial lights dilate and internal systems crash. Columns of streaming data show their power levels spiraling downwards. Oh god, he's in like, he's in trouble? Oh, it's all purple. I think that's because we're friends with the Corvax. This is a Corvax system. Oh wow, now there's a view just straight into the ring. The life form looks to me for help. Carbon. Oh, I don't have either of those things. I had to use up all of my ferrite dust to make fuel to take off. God damn it. Why is this game just so bloody pretty? It's had a few updates as well, so I don't know if you've noticed, but everything's slightly sharper than it was in my first recording. I did notice in number two, but didn't realise until I read the patch notes and went to look at the actual footage how much better it is. And now that I'm actually looking properly, because I've noticed... Oh, search. I found a thing in the plant. I found some carbon in a plant. Which makes sense, but you know. Gek, what do you have to say quickly? I totally don't know what you're saying. I know nothing of my own people! The Gek looks to me with hope, a trustworthy eyes and beak beaming as I approach. They gesture towards me with a data pad, as if to make a request. Well, I can't give you anything. But we're wearing similar armor, so... Space armor. The Gek know how to how to fashion in space. Can I just be taught a friendship symbol? I feel like that's one I'm going to need more. Friendship! Hug! You're such a good person, Gek thing. Mwah. We'll be friends forever. Right, let's see what's down this dark corridor, and then we'll uh, make a run for it. Locked. Atlas Pass 3. Okay, that sounds, some, that sounds too above what we don't already have, so... Okay, this part of the world is really empty, but these guys are shops, I think. I think these guys are shops, but they take nanite clusters. And then on the other side, there's a load of uh, things that are dealt with, like quests. And uh, well, I'll show you. We'll just jump over there. To the other side. And we're there. Oh, it's much busier on this side. But this side has these. And they have quests and some sort of mission journal, yeah, like mission agent, but none of them work because we haven't finished the tutorial. Or maybe they're for online only. I'm not sure. 
I have literally no idea. Someone can tell me. And then there's this. It's like a teleporter. Like an actual teleporter. It's got a different menu to everything else as well. Everything else in the game is one way, but this is written like this. And I actually quite like this. I wish most of it had this menu, because it's much more pleasant to read. And I like having a sort of, um, uh, what do you call it? Just the font of like a, a what's it called? A keyboard? A keypad? Word will come to me. Tell me what I'm trying to remember. Typewriter! Goodness me, I'm my brain then. Uh, it's that sort of typewriter font that you see in like Silent Hill and stuff like that, which makes me very happy. Oh, wait. It's working now. Local transmission station call sign. What does that do? Oh no, what the fuck? I didn't know what that did. Oh my god. Through space and time. Well, this is terrifying. This was unexpected. Wow. Wow. I felt but warp 9.9. .9. I know how Paris felt when he uh, turned into a bug monster and was technically uh, had sex with his captain, but that's a diff that's a story for another episode of Star Trek. What? Oh, there's a big ring behind me. Goodness me, where the hell are we going? It's like being in the Bifrost. Oh, I'm home! What? I didn't know you could do... Well, this is my base, everybody. <laughs> How do I get back again? Oh, my ship came with me? Oh, that's so weird. Why did the ship come with me? I... I well... I'm a little bit lost for words. I guess it's faster than, than coming from up there, where the space station is, to down here. But yes, welcome to Namek, the, where the sky is pink and the ground is also pink. So it's, it's nothing like Namek, but it's got like, it had, when we flew down the first time, because I'm going to stick with what I said in the non-recording, it did somewhat remind me of Namek because of the n landscape before us. But yeah, we've got all of this to do, so um, we might as well return to the base computer, as it's what it is actually wanting us to do, and carry on with the goddamn plot. I really like a hyperdrive. I think that's like the next thing. Bloody hope it's the next thing. Indicate additional subterranean device. Tell me. Whoever recorded these logs evidently had some success. I have access to their plans, and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. Uh, I can't read that. There's a thing in the way. Portable blueprint research device. Oh, so that's for researching new parts? Oh my god. Expand your base, earning new construction blueprints. Dig up buried technology. Power your base with advanced technology. Use teleporters to instantly return to your base during your travels. Oh, so even if we start making our way to the middle of the universe, we can still come back here and use our home base because we can teleport. That's so weird. I love it, but so weird. Um, so what do we need? Collect ferrite dust. Well, ferrite dust it is. And this is our house, by the way. It's only little. It's perched on the edge. And then at night, uh, the whole ri Oh, my hand's not behaving very well today. There's a bit of a glitch going on, because when you change into a gek, your hands are supposed to change into gek hands, where you've got three fingers. But they haven't for me. They've just gone a bit weird, which is a bit bizarre. I'm hoping they sort that out, because if I change back into a human, they sort themselves out again. But I want to be a gek. I like being this height. It makes all the animals, like, twice as big. So I will suffer this once until I've sorted it out. For now, we just need ferrite dust, and lots of it. Oh, life support's low. That, that, not so good. We need life support. That's actually a useful. Oxygen! F*** yeah! <laughs> ferrite dust. Ferrite dust. Oh yeah, we do have a terrain cutter out of the flora device now, so we can make tunnels and things. Because we are not on the ground. The illusion that we are on a mountain is not so. We're on top of one of these, like a floating island. But there's a tiny bit of land at the bottom that joins it to the ground, so we can dig our way up and down. And these things are bad. They're panthers. They're basically panthers. I didn't attack them either when I landed. They started attacking me on sight. Maybe I landed on top of one and it died, but... Yes, they're called Am... M... No, I was, I'm reading that. Back it up. Let's move away so we can keep our heads still. There. And... M. Sandiguinentma. M. Sanguinentma. But they're evil, evil things. And I don't think there's that many of them on top of our sort of house mountain. Which is why we came up here in the first place. To try and escape all the horrible nasties that are down on the 
down on the floor. It's not as pleasant down there. Other than that, though, it's a really nice planet. I mean, it's a bit red. I was really hoping there'd be water. I know a lot of you were saying in the comments that for the last one and on Reddit and things that you wanted to either go to a top of a mountain or alternatively into like a lake or something. So I was really hoping that there was going to be one or, you know, I could have both. I could have my cake and I could eat it, but it is not to be. I, I had to just pick one or the other and it turned out it had to be as high up as I could go. But that does mean that the next base will aim to be either underwater or on it. It'll be one of those two. Ah, see, look at the animals! Quickly distracted while we're near them. But if you were normal sized... I thought I had some. Oh, I tamed some of them earlier and I was, they were all gathered round. Let's see if we can't get some animal, animal pellets from somewhere. Because I'm pretty sure I've got meat. I do have meat. Excellent, let's make some animal pellets. Put some of this into my starship because honestly... Oh, it's out of range? It's just there! Okay, I've made some animal pellets. You, talk to me! Yeah! There you go. Have some of these, dude. There you go. Oh, he's amazing. Look, they're like giant pig things. Let's see if I can if I can get rid of that so that we can um not. There we go. Put that away, and then they don't glow so much. Do you want some more? I mean, I've, I can only give you one really because I think I only made one. It's a shame your friends aren't coming over. Normally, you all gather round, and it was lovely. But these guys are all right. They're, they're quite cool. I think we can ride them, but God knows how that works. I have seen some incredible clips on the internet of things that you can do. Oh, he made a poo. At least he'll follow me now. He, this one specifically will follow me because I fed it. Um, but I don't know what the benefit is. I think they can dig stuff up. There is so much to do in this game. It's, it's unreal. Okay, I've collected everything I needed to within an inch of its life, I think. Yeah, there's this new menu which has like, you know, floors, woods, uh, lighting, upgrades. It's, it's all very, very complicated. I have a flag! Oh, I want a flag! Oh, I can totally have one as well. We've got to have a flag. Because I actually bothered making one. It should be black and orange. If there is any god. Can I not put it on the top of my house? Oh, I can. I can. I can. Because check out the details on this, by the way. Like, the actual wood panelling and all the little metal pegs, I think, is really impressive. And the way you put it all together is quite cool as well. Because while I, um, I've never played and do not approve of Fortnite, I have to say, the fact that it sort of isn't like... Because um, I thought it was going to be Subnautica if that makes sense. I thought it was all going to be in sections and it would clip together and it would all be sort of tubes and pipes. But it's not. It's actually in panels and pieces that you put together like this. I'll just show you. What am I doing? Like, oh, that's why you're here. Let's just show you the stuff. Like this. And it just pops in like that. It's really easy to use and really pleasant to use. And it reminds me of Fortnite, the game that I've never played, but have seen people trying. So, if you are curious, there's a lot of things we can do, lots of floors, we can have a base where we can hopefully land the ship inside it, that's the dream, that's what I really want to do, is have like, a dock with lots of different ships in it. I think you can even have more than one. Someone said that you can have like five, like four or five ships in, all oh, back inside, in like, inside another ship? Which I've never heard of, but I feel like that's very cool. Construction research. Oh, I need metal plating and oxygen. You didn't mention that game. You just said ferrite dust. Carbon nanotubes. Carbon? Oh, for God's sake. That's just the list never ends. Okay, we've got carbon, nanotubes, uh, I've got the ferrite dust, magnetized ferrite, ferrite of magnetized ferrite, I think that's everything. Deploy the construction unit near one. Okay, good, good. That's everything we needed. Oh, thank God for that, because I've been running around for ages. I thought I'll just collect it all. It'll only take five minutes. No, it took forever. That looks like the right thing. Ooh. Oh, it's a little... It's a little cube. Oh, it's got a proper hologram on the top. Look at that. That looks amazing in VR. That's one of the best holograms I've seen in a game, because I've played a lot of virtual reality things, and lots of different devs take a different approach on how to sort of display things that aren't real. Not many of them have sort of taken the initiative and gone, we should just cover it with, like, holographic displays and digital screens that are flashing. But they have on this one, and the details really do shine through. I like the fact that everything's doing something. Analysis unit, online, diagnostic suggestions, Sh user should recover salvage data from buried technology. Okay, well where is it? 
Oh my god. Is this the tech tree? Metal plating, base teleporter, biofuel reactor, save beacon, signal booster, health station, electrical wiring. Oh no, there's loads. Oh my god. Okay, fine, we'll come back to this. What does it want me to make? Do I have to click something and unlock it? Or... Explore the planet and locate buried technology. I can do that. Scan. Go away, I'm on my house, you can't get me from here. This is one of the main reasons that I built it in the air slightly when I first arrived. Is that a little building? There. There is a building. I just noticed it down all the way down there. I'll have to check that out in a minute. It says it's got a name, so I must have flown right over it at some point and discovered it without noticing. Oh, don't make me kill you. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, I don't like spinning like this. It's annoying. Stop pacing. I'll just look over my shoulder. There we go. At least I get some animal food for it so I can feed somebody with it. But this doesn't help me find my thing. Berry technology. Unidentified plant. Something. Uh, what about that one? Ah, Berry Technology Module 213. Or 231, which is very similar. Luckily, it's not a big number difference. 5%? That's more serious. Let's uh, concentrate on getting that back together first. Life support. I have lots of oxygen. Because I went on a collection spree. Ooh, that's the edge. Jesus, I nearly fell all the way down. Okay, hey, he's probably coming from that base down there. I'm really curious what that is, because I haven't really been to any buildings yet. So, I'm, um, you know, any buildings that are, like, not my own or in space. So, am I going to have to dig my way down? Where is it? Okay, it's literally there. Maybe I will dig my way up. We'll collect some oxygen first, because I can see some there. So, we'll grab some air, make sure we've got enough air to make the trip down and back again. I could take the ship, but where's the fun in that? We have to take some risks at some point. Air. And there's some more air. Isn't that lucky? It's almost like you want me to do this. Hey guys. I'll feed you in a minute. I hate these. Because I just want the gassy pod. Because then you can take... Ow! You can take oxygen from it without actually running out. So it's still there. I haven't killed it. Thank you for your advice, whoever that was, because somebody noticed in the first episode that I was going. I'd really like to harvest them and not kill them. And it turns out there is a way. <sighs> Maybe we could just jump. Hmm. <laughs> Go on then. Go on then. We'll jump. I feel brave. <sighs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, literally, as I hit the ground, extreme cold damage. Well, that's quite bad, isn't it? There's not much I can do about that. Oh yeah, my... Shit, I'm out of um, the thing that keeps me from freezing to death. <laughs> oh no, we need some sodium right now. Here's some sodium. That's very lucky. Charge. Okay, I'll have some more of that and some more of that and... That. Scan. Oh, it's only just below the surface. That's quite nice. Die! ground. Oh, there it is. Hello. Maybe I'll make a bit more room. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I would like this, please. Salvage data. Ah, now we just have to get back up there. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. <laughs> I don't want to mine. I want dihydrogen because at some point... Oh, there isn't, is there? Oh, there is as well. That is a big storm. Right. Let's build a cave, because once we've dug a little way into this, we'll be protected. So it should be fine. Where's the bit that was connected to the ground? Over there. Because if it was entirely floating in the air, we'd be a bit buggered. We wouldn't be able to get in, because I can't fly. Apparently it's 35 degrees under here. That storm is very unpleasant. As long as it's not radioactive, we should be okay. Actually, it's getting hot. It's actually getting hot. The storm is boiling. It's freezing cold in the wind and boiling in the storm. 
Okay, that's actually really dangerous. I didn't realise my planet that we'd... I didn't realise the planet I'd taken refuge on could do that. Um... Okay, let's just dig. I'm trying to hide. Just fall. Fall. I've literally dug down as hard as I can go. I'm gonna die. Oh no, I don't want to die. Sodium. Life support. Oxygen. Oh, this is bad. I thought digging would help. Normally it does. God, the temperature is just fluctuating massively. It is minus numbers below ground, hundreds of degrees up here. Well, we want to go up, and it looks like my island isn't touching the ground, which is concerning. Oh, no, it is. There is. It is. Oh, ow. It is touching the ground, though, so that's fine. We can go in here and up. Hopefully. I mean, I hope so. We just need to keep going up. Am I out of air? Oh, shit! Oxygen. I'm out of sodium. Oh, thank God. Oh, I was literally on my last bit of health. Oh, I think the storm passed. God, that was stressful. Keep going up. Somewhere up there, there's daylight. That is my home. Okay, so that's as high as we can go in one dig. Away! <laughs> See how cool is this? It doesn't matter how much um, you have. It doesn't matter how much jetpack you've got or how little upgrade you have. As long as you're pressed against a wall, you can keep digging. Which means you can do things like this. Which I'm really glad they did. Because if they hadn't, I mean, I wouldn't, I'd be stuck. I'd be stuck on the ground. I wouldn't be able to do a damn thing. Continue digging. Oh, bit tricky. Keep going, keep going, because it's a long way down. It's a very long way down. We will fall to our deaths if we fail. And hide. Really? Where's the ground in all of this? It says we're above our ship. Ah, we are. Right, let's hollow this out a little bit so we've got a nice way to get in and out if we can stop running out of fuel. Just so we've got a little ledge all the way around it for when we come up. Because the last thing we want is to get, like, stuck and fall. So we can get in and out, or up and down anyway, with relative ease. And it's right, literally right next to our ship, which is handy. <laughs> okay, I think we have everything we needed. We salvaged the data, let's get the hell back to the bit which wants us to, like, make stuff. Uh, you, isn't it? User should recover salvage data. Oh, I did. Okay, maybe I've got to do that in a menu. Oh, they can be spent in a research... Con oh, okay, I've got money. I see. I have to go find those if I want to unlock. Just, just purely to unlock stuff. Unlock your fiend. Oh, I have to unlock the teleporter. I get it. My bad. And there was me thinking it was giving me choices already, and I thought I was out of the tutorial. Your base can be renamed. Interact with your base computer. Oh, that I did not know. Oh yeah, we're not the Senemi Sis Colony. That is not our name. We are the Cottage, because that is basically what I have built, and it's basically what it's going to end up. We're going to try and make this all quaint and nice. I'll see if we can have some gardens out front, see how all of that works. Still, gather ferrite dust. Base model. Oh, more collecting! This is why I didn't like it in the first place, but once we're through all of this and we can actually do stuff, it'll be much better. Maybe we'll pop down to that. We can see if we can go shopping. Let's go to the shops. I mean, there's one just there. We should go see if they sell any of the things that we want. And they might have ships. We've gathered quite a. Oh, of course there isn't enough fuel. Luckily, I've been gathering all the things. Oh no, we still need metal plating, even for that. God damn you, world. Ferrite dust be damned. Oh wait, that's not the right weapon. Now I've got the option, I'm never going to be able to remember which one I should have. Those are carbon, they look like rocks, but they're actually not rocks. They're alive. Hurrah! We have enough to actually make fuel, and we're a drifter, because we've walked four... Four? Twelve. That's a big number. Twelve <laughs> K. Don't know where I got four from. Right, let's actually get this thing in the air.
Again. I am really getting used to these menus. They're really intuitive. They're not that bad. And we really should see maybe if they, <laughs> there has been an update. I'll have to put this online later and see if they've fixed the glitch with my hands. Oh, it was down here, wasn't it? There it is. Oh, it's an actual place. I thought it was, um, I thought it was like a shopping thing. Like a base where they have, like, the panels to land your ship on. But it's not. This is like an actual house. To Parky Station? This is somewhere else. The other place wasn't called this. Found somewhere again, again. There are robots here as well, which is a bit worrying, because there weren't any where my house was. Hello? Oh, it's inhabited. Hey, entity. As I approach the electronic life form, they instinctively start to analyze me from head to foot. They chitter animatedly, their heads tilted to one side. They must see few novelties on this barren, dusty world. Something, 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 something. Dark side, something, something, something. Complete. <laughs> I mind that I know little of their language or how to communicate. In response, the lights turn in their mask, flash a repeating series of three. Building in intensity. Oh, I see. Um, leave. I can do nothing for you. I'm sorry. Well, that was a bit of a waste of time. What about this? Ooh. Long ago, it seems an automated distress call went unanswered. If I can crack the encryption pattern, I could potentially extract the coordinates. 720. Yay! See, I'm good at math, really. In my deep, deep internals. And they like me more. These aren't doors. I thought some of these were doors. Oh, one of them is. Is that the front door? That's the way out. So what's this one? Oh, that's not a door. Okay, I've been misled by what look like doors, but are in fact walls. It was lovely coming. <laughs> it was lovely visiting your fine abode. Well, I've got another marker, wherever that is. Oh, there it is. Okay, arrival. Wait, said it. Six hours. So, we can try that, and while we're here, we can upload. Oh, I don't need to call the starship. I already have that. I thought that was a load save point. <laughs> Arrival in 12 minutes. Ah, oh, that's fine. We're going up at the same time, so we'll end up in space in a second, and that'll speed us up to no end. We'll just skim the clouds. See, now you can, from up here, you can tell why I called it Namek when we were sort of on our way in the first time. Ooh, I don't like flying straight through clouds. You can lose track of where you are very quickly. But it's very blue from up here. It just isn't when you land. Oop, through another one. We've got some very tall clouds. They go right up into the atmosphere on this planet. I love it. Obviously, different planets, I think, have different thicknesses of atmosphere, as they should do. But it's still very impressive. Till you actually get in a ship and fly into it. I really want my own ship. Not that we don't like this one, but I really want to see if I can buy another. I don't know how much money I've got in total, but I should check and see if that, um... I haven't actually looked at how much a ship costs. It probably costs a lot. Okay, we're finally there. I cannot believe how long that took, considering it just said, like, a few minutes away. I ended up going into space, and even then it said it was going to take forever. Back hard! Homeworld! I didn't mention it's called Back hard. I didn't call it that. It was called that when I got here, and I love it. I love everything about my homeworld. I'm a geck. We're a very happy people. Okie dokie. Pig and a pokey. Slow it right down. We don't actually know what this is. We could also bump into the floor if we're really stupid. Oh no, it looks fairly normal. Let's land and get a better look at it. That is a big hole next to us. Is that a crater? I wonder if there's a cave or something around here. I haven't done much cave, much cave digging. Let's get the gun out and put our light on because I get a bit scared in the dark and I don't like it. I've been in too many horror games. And things like that keep warning me that I am going to die soon. Scenario iteration deleted. Well, that's not useful. <laughs> I need that information. And now I have this bloody marker in the middle of my view. It's going to be there until we go to the space station. It blatantly really wants us to go there now. Ooh. 
Tamper device. Tamper prevention device. Punigum. I don't have any punigum. <laughs> I have no punigum. <laughs> Even if I did, I wouldn't give it to you. <laughs> and there is a cave. Oh, we're gonna die. Let's see if we've actually got the things we need. Always death and always dying. Okay, back to normal. I'm having a look in a cave. I want to. <laughs> it's been too long. Oh, wait, what's that? Something alive. And it doesn't like me, apparently. I don't see it. Which is really concerning. Is that good? Is that bad? Sodium! It's inside hazardous fauna, but we are having the sodium. It keeps our suit working and therefore we want it. How's my gauntlet required? That's funny because that's in that thing over there, but I don't quite have access to that yet. Unless that's why we have to go to the space station to get that very material. God, this cave is a tweet cave. There is not much wiggle room. I'm having to duck a lot, but I'm feeling like being a geck really helps. Oh, okay. Haha. -ha. Back out the way we came, but still, it's a big circle. Nothing impressive in there. But I had to look. I love caves. I think they're probably the prettiest things. Now, what was it that was attacking us? It's one of them again! Nothing to fear. I thought it was uh, something new and terrible, but nope. It's another panther monster. An M. Sanguinita. Right. To the marker. And now we're out of fuel, so when we land there, we'll have to put together some more. Oh no, it's okay, because it's a space station, so that's fine. At least you can finally see the ring now lit up against the clouds. When I was putting the base together for the first time in the episode that didn't record, uh, I, it was raining a lot, and it looked so nice in the rain, with a storm overhead and the glow of the ring through it. It's lovely. Speaking of the ring, let's get to it. I've only got 9% fuel, but that's got to be enough. We're only just around the corner. It's just in orbit of the same planet. Are we going to go through it? Let's go through! Actually, no, I want to fly into it. I said I'd do it, and I never did. Ooh, it's got a texture. Wow, that's remarkable, actually. How does it look to go in? I mean, I know it looks like it's quite close, but it's really not. <laughs> we'll make our way down to it. You can actually see, like, individual bands of colour running through it. Which is a nice detail, because really in a game like this, you're not going to get millions and millions and millions of rocks to actually make that up. <gasps> oh, wow, it is literally a ring of pebbles. I mean, it would be, but... It's really... that's really cool! I'll have to see if we can have a fight in the ring. And lure some unsuspecting bounty into it. How beautiful. Anyway, to the station! But this time, we were told to come here. Oh, ask about the mysterious signal. Okay. I've got to talk to somebody? Or just ask anybody? Find a guy and go, hey, have you seen this? Hello, hello, I've got to ask one of you about a friend. Oh, you're the person. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left for you. Though the aliens speak, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back through me. Back to me through the red glare logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form staring at me through its visor. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer will be able to make something of this code. Okay, so I spoke to someone and their mind was seized very briefly. Oh, now I can visit technology merchants to upgrade your ship and equipment. I did think it was odd that it wasn't letting me. And I suppose I can now use the teleporter, which it wants me to do to just, like, whiz home. What about these guys? Are they unlocked? Mysterious agent? Oh, miss mission agent, even? There is no apparent work for me here. Nope, we still have other things to do! 
No, I'm going to the shop first. I'm also going to wait until somebody lands because I'd really like to at least inspect somebody else's ship. See if I can afford such a thing. We've been building up money for a little while, so I'd be disappointed if we didn't have any. We'll go for suit, yeah, suit upgrades, if possible. Purchase upgrades! Yes! Ah, it's all done in nanite clusters. Yes, I remember, and we don't have any of those. Or can we sell anything that we find? Underwater protection module. <laughs> Thermal protection module. These would all be very useful. 104,000. That doesn't sound like very much money to me. And we certainly can't buy anything from any of them. Oh, a ship! Let's see what money we're dealing with, and at least what the price range is. I would like to purchase your ship, please. Alright, it's a Class C. Let's negotiate the price. It costs... 3 million. Oh. <laughs> I... I don't have 3 million. Right, to the uh, teleporter. Let's pop home. <laughs> Bifrost, take me! Oh, sorry, there was a bit of a delay there. Bifrost, take me! My god, we've gotten a lot done today, really. Blasting through this, now I'm really hoping that the next thing it tells me to do at the base computer is, did you know you can build a hyperdrive? <sighs> Please, give me a hyperdrive so I can explore the known galaxy. And we're back. Decoding. 16, 16, 16. Who? Traveller finds out their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Possible distress signal. Oh, it's not even that far, to be fair. And there's some happy music playing, so it sounds like we're actually going to get all the things that we've ever dreamed of. So, thank you very much for joining me this time. We'll be dealing with that in the next episode. If you've enjoyed any of this, please hit the like button. It helps me out and lets me know that you want to see more of these. Uh, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, then consider becoming a subscriber. Because we do things like this all the time. And I'm going to feed these lovely animals. No, I want to feed you. Come back! And we will see you all in the next wonderful episode of... No Man's Sky VR! on an alien world. Ow, that was my wall. <laughs>